Okay, so these are the Atari games that I've got so far. Cuba, Space Invaders, Mario Bros, Galaxian, E.T., Mr. Do, Laser Gates, Freeway, Grand Prix, Barnstorming, which I picked up at the boot sale recently. All these games are from boot sales, except for Freeway. That was from Retro Hunter. And I think E.T., Space Invaders, those two were from Miso Retro Games in Barley Land. Um, and yeah, Moon Sweeper, uh, River Raid 2, Obelix, um, Road Runner. I got that off eBay actually. And Centipede. So that's what I've got so far. And this is what I'm hoping to trade in a couple of little arcadey pieces. Um, and there's a game I'm never going to play again California Games, Metal Gear Solid. That's a double, got that boot sale. These two Atari games, not for me. Adventure, Double Dragon, not for me. So I'm going to move them on. Um, the C64 Mini, because I have got Commodore 64 anyway. Um, and then some Xbox 360 games, um, some Xbox One games. A lot of these are boot sale pickups. Um, in fact, they're all boot sale pickups. Um, so I've either got them on a the cheap to flip, um, or they're games that I've already got, or I've played and I don't want them, etc. I'm never going to get rid of Zumba, but you never know. And there's a cat to wear, but I don't think I can get rid of that. Anyway, we're going to go trade those in and see what we can get. Some more Atari goodness. Okay, so first up on the trip is Miso Retro Games in Barley Land in Essex. So we're going to go there, see what we can trade in, see what Atari games we can try to stick to. I might get distracted and end up looking at NES games, so we'll see what goodies he's got. Then we'll go back down towards Leon C to the Retro Hunter in Essex, see what Atari greatness he has got in store for us there, because I'm pretty sure both shops have got some good stock. And we'll trade what we can in, and hopefully we won't have to pay too much over once we've traded in. And then I've got to go up towards Suffolk-ish, or I haven't. I've got to go up the A12, sort of North Essex, to work, because my laptop's there, and I've got a copyright claim for my last video, which means I need to edit it, otherwise no one can watch it. So that's a pain. But anyway, here we go. All right, we are here. That's a new one. Not seen that before. New game shop coming. And this is me so. Well, as you can see, I got some absolute beauties from Luke. I wasn't expecting him to take all of that trade pile. I thought some of the modern stuff and uh, a few of the other bits um, he might not have took, but he took all of it. Um, so it didn't actually cost me anything. All those games I picked up, so I picked up a few loose carts for the Atari 2600. Um, I had a little peek at some other stuff, but I didn't want to get too distracted. And I got obviously a beautiful, I've never played Spider-Man. Let me know what it's like. Um, but yeah, it's just really good box art and really good condition. So that would look cool on display. Um, and then the Frogger, I've got the original Frogger cab. So when you see a Frogger in that good condition, um, even if I had the loose car, I probably still would have uh, would have actually brought that. So yeah, absolutely over the moon. So it didn't cost anything. Trade all those games I didn't want. And I got some fantastic games. So thank you, Luke. At Miso Retro Games in Barley Lands in Essex, which is near Billericay. Check him out. Now we're off to see the fantastic alley at the Retro Hunter in Leon C, also in God's Country, Essex. And we're back from the Retro Hunter, thanks to Ali for hooking me up with golf. I've heard a lot of good things from Nintendo Arcade on golf, um, which I never got to play in the arcade. I haven't played that on the original hardware, so excited to play that on the Atari 2600. Popeye, I just kind of want to own it. I don't know why. Uh, it might end up being returned at some point, because I wasn't a big fan on the arcade cab, but I thought I'll give it another go. 
Um, and the last one, I love my Donkey Kong on arcade and on the Atari. Um, so why not a bit of Kangaroo, which is basically a little um, Donkey Kong ripoff, pretty much. But yeah, let me know if there's any other games there you saw you think I should have picked up. But anyway, let's head upstairs. Now, the big box games, no idea where we're going to find a spot for Spider-Man just yet. But Frogger, there is only one place for Frogger. That, of course, is in its rightful home with the Frogger dedicated cab. So I reckon we shall sit, sit him just up there like that. Beautiful. Isn't she a beauty? Now we've got some great games to add. So we've got Golf. I've heard Nintendo Arcade talk a lot about this, so add that into the collection. Can't wait to play that. I've not played that on Arcade, let alone Atari. Missile Command, only ever played that in the Arcade. So looking forward to seeing what the Arcade port can bring. So I'm going to load that one up there. Haunted House. Um, I don't know if it's anything to do with... Is there Haunted House on NES? Is it? Maniac Mansion, not Haunted House. Um... Don't know much about this. I'm sure I've seen someone playing it online. So that's why it was in my head why I picked it up. So let me know if that's any good, if it's good for the goose. Um, Kangaroo, I've, I've seen footage of this and I've played it on the arcade um, on my cabinet, but I don't know if it had a proper arcade release. Um, but yeah, a bit of a Donkey Kong sort of style game, which is kind of the same as Popeye, which is the next one, isn't it? So Popeye, yeah, I'll play it in the arcade. Um, I don't know whether I'll be keeping this. I'm really not sure, but I just want to give it a go on the Atari. So I'm going to put that one up there. So we're uh, running out of space. What happens now? We're out to get maximum space. Combat. I'm hope it is that uh, it's a tank game. So um, I've seen that anyway. I didn't realize there's other versions. Plane, jet fighter. Yeah, really want to play that. Um, but yeah, so let's oh, stick her down there. I think so. That's it. So we're restocked. Um, and I only have so much space allocated to each sort of console, so that's probably the most games I'm going to have for the Atari. So any I don't like or get bored with will probably get swapped out, unless I can find some more space, maybe. Who knows? So that's it from me on this video. If you enjoyed what you've seen, then please leave a like and a comment. And of course, hit that subscribe. It's free to do so. And I don't know how we're going in this video. There's only one way. A cheeky game of Frogger. Let's do it. I'd like to go back just to see and use my time in case we get a little insect to grab and eat. But no, not going to happen. Let's get the hard one out of the way first. Try and get the bonuses on each level. But I didn't there, did I? Oh, oh I didn't fall in. I didn't realise that was a green one. All right, let's pick him up. Could have got a bonus. Let's hang tight, try and double it up. There's one. We're not going to get it in time. Nope, we didn't get it in time. So this will be a mediocre score. Go across, hop across, and we'll try it. There we go, we'll hop back. Dun, 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 dun. Should have turned the volume up, really. We can probably hear me bloody breathing. Any bonuses? Let's send her home. This will be longer than the actual video of me playing this, if I have a good run. Yeah! That was pushing it as well. Because let's be honest, traffic's getting busier now. The traffic is kicking off. <gasps> oh, I thought we were going to get the bonus. Well, that's the first level cleared. How many levels is there? Nobody knows. My top score, I don't know if you can see that. 1, 2, 8, 50. This is a pretty good score. Um, I haven't been able to beat it. And even when this was in a public arcade. I say public arcade. An arcade you've been paid to go into, not someone's house, is what I mean. Um, no one beat it, so it should be fairly decent. But I'm sure there is some frogger pros out there watching this saying they could do better. And I've already lost a frog. Which is not good. Is there any bonuses on this one? It's a bit sporadic, isn't it? Oh, I tried to go back. I tried to go back. 
that one maybe. It's like you have to go ahead for it to appear. Is that a tested theory or am I just making that up? Yeah, there we go. It's like you have to go halfway across. All right, let's just bank it home. Let's speed it up. Should have gone for a speed run version, really, shouldn't I? Come on. And then now. Ah, oh, that's it. We're done. Probably for the best. I wasn't cut off for ages. Anyway, cheers, guys. See you soon. I'm Mario. And I am the hedgehog. And today, with this. <laughs> <laughs>